In this section, we are going to speak about tenant administration. And for the first video of this section, we are going to talk about creating and managing security groups. So, switch to your portal.office.com, admin account and let's go. On your office admin account, click on admin, go to users, active users. There are a few users that have been created during this course. Let's say I want to take user 2 to add him to a group. I sign this user to a group. We have created one group, team 1. Or I can add membership to other groups, team 1 and test group. I will click test and click save. This way I've added this user to this group. But how to create a group and how to manage that group? Click close. Click on Groups, click on Groups again, and click Add Groups. On the Add Groups window, click the type, because you have more types to create a group, and the types are Office 365. Distribution list, Mail Enabled Security and Security, the Office 365, is the recommended, and it's a great way for teams to collaborate by giving them a group email and a shared workspace for conversations, files and calendar events. Distribution list sends an email to all members of the list. You can even allow people outside your organization to send emails on the list. Mail enabled security groups can be used to control access to OneDrive and SharePoint as well, as to send email to all members of the list. And security. Security groups control access to OneDrive and SharePoint and are used for mobile device management for Office 365. So, Let's say I want the first one or the default option. I will select Office 365. I will tell them it will be project team. It will generate an email address. You can edit this email address if you wish. I will set the default one. I will tell it to be this group makes projects. A very important option here, the privacy. So for the private, only members can see this group content and for public anyone can see this group content for projects it's good to be only the members of the group content so i will select only members can see the group content select owner i will tell them it will be me i usually select the manager of the group or the project leader so you can select it any way you wish Change the settings after the group is created. Send copies of group conversation and events to group members' inboxes. And let people outside the organization email the group. I will click Add. The group is ready for you to add members and additional owners. Select the group, then click Edit next to settings you want to change. I will click Close. I will then go to Groups. And there is the project team. I will select the project team. And I can edit all the information that I entered for this group. So I can change the name and I can change the owners and I can edit the members. So I can select add members and I can say I will use a one and user three in the group and click save. So I have added the users to the group. Group membership was updated and it will take effect immediately. So this is how you create and manage groups in Office 365.